Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing a glow tutorial. Glowy, glossy, glittery, luxurious, quenched, moist. Yes, moist. That's what we're going for today, you guys. So I'm gonna be showing you my little technique about how I get my nice glow, like in my pictures, and how I make my skin look really glossy and glowy without looking oily. I got you. So if you wanna see how to get this look, go ahead and keep on watching. So this is me in my natural form, a fetus. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, you wanna be so moisturized. Like I'm talking about, we wanna be moisturized. And I gotta moisturize my head too, so. We'll be using a lot. Uh, this is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I am almost all out, so I'm squeezing out whatever's left, like I said. Gotta moisturize our, our head to our scalp. And the lips, very, very important. So I like to use the Glossier Balm.com. The coconut one, this is the only one I've tried. It's got like a Vaseline kind of feel to it. And if you know me, my no makeup makeup routine is Vaseline. Literally, I will smother myself in Vaseline and I love it. If I made an actual ASMR video, would you guys watch it? Like, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Because I would. So the Makeup Forever Foundation Stick is that girl. This is hands down my favorite foundation of all time. I've talked about this before. Because it goes on the skin looking like skin. I'm in the shade Y335. If I just want like a very even, delicious... Coverage, I'll usually just put it on with the brush. It's almost invisible. Like when you go close up on somebody's skin with this on, it doesn't look like there's anything on their skin, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't sit on the skin. It sits with it. It's gonna apply a little concealer. Same thing, just gonna pat that into the skin. I do love Makeup Revolution, but it's not my favorite concealer in the entire world. It was for a little bit, but I don't know. I think with all concealers, I just get tired of them after a while. Maybe that's the Aquarius in me. You know, I just get sick of things. It's still nice. I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> my under... My under... My under lies. My under lies. My under lies. Lies, lies. I don't lie. I'm just saying under lies. My under eyes are looking pretty damn good though, I'm not gonna lie, so I might have to go back to her. By the way, do you guys wanna see my cute slippers? I fell. Yes. Fuck, I think I broke my cap. I'm just gonna do this. We're not trying that again. Thanks for watching, this video is over. <laughs> if I'm gonna use any type of luminizing drops, I'm going to do it now after my foundation and concealer are on. I do not mix it into my foundation because I don't want my entire face to look oily. It's much better just to do it this way. and then use whatever's left over on the rest. And once we get into the actual highlight part, I'm gonna show you where I apply my highlight to make it pop in pictures. Like, if you want your highlight to pop in pictures, I'm about to show you what's good right now. So now it is time to set our face. I know what you're thinking, are we supposed to look glossy and, and dewy and glowy? Yes, we are. But there are certain places on my face that I have to set or I will just look like a hot mess. Like you'll be able to see texture, my makeup will be like rubbing in weird places, my contour will look muddy. So I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder, AKA Beauty Guru. I didn't say that though. And where I need to set with this is definitely under my eye. And I don't like to bake, so I'm just gonna put a very small amount. I don't like the way that baking looks on me. I think it looks crusty. And I don't want to look dry and crusty. 
I do have some texture on my forehead. So I set that with powder because if I have it too luminized, luminous, if I have it too luminous, uh, you'll be able to see all those little lumps and bumps. Every little piece of powder that falls off is worth $15. So I gotta be real careful. Then I'm gonna take the glow powder. It's the same thing as the setting powder, but glowy. And I'm gonna take the Real Techniques Big Ass Face Brush, number 306. That's pretty. And just gonna hit it with a little contour. So who's been watching American Horror Story? Tell me, tell me, tell me, what do you think? As a matter of fact, rank the American Horror Story seasons for me. Like, what's your favorite to least favorite? Obviously, Murder House is number one. Let's all be honest here. And for me, my least favorite was probably Freak Show. Don't at me. What would you think about Colt? I really, really liked Colt. And obviously I like Coven, everybody likes Asylum. And so far this season, what are you guys thinking? Like who's gonna come through really? Is everybody gonna be playing multiple characters at once? Like what do you think? And what do we think about Tate's son? What do we think about the Antichrist himself with the poppin' ass hair? What do we think? I couldn't find the blush that I was looking for, so I'm gonna use a blush palette because it's got every color in here. It doesn't really matter what I'm looking for. I know they came out with pictures recently, like a sneaky peeky of some new Fenty products, like new Stunna lip paints and all that good stuff. But they said possibly blushes, more blushes and bronzers in the shade range with like the other highlighters and things like that. If Fenty comes through with a nice luminous blush, like come to mama, I'll, I'll, I'll gladly, I will gladly buy that. I don't know if you could tell the theme on my channel of me not giving a shit about contouring my nose. I just cannot get into it. It looks great and people are really good at it, but I will literally slather on anything and then just clean it up and call it a nose contour. Back at it again, spilling, there goes $5. There goes $6. I like to use this e.l.f. 104 brush. Look at me like I'm a real legit beauty guru. This is what I like to use to clean up my contour. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of first impressions real quick, because I really wanna try this uh, Laura Mercier Mineral Illuminating Powder in Candlelight. I swatched this on my story and I was like, bitch. <sighs> it was popping, oh my God, it was, it was delicious. Mm. If it doesn't look good, then we've ruined the whole video. Vote now, what do you think? Is it going to ruin my face or is it gonna look delicious? Cast your votes, please. If you voted delicious, 10 points for Slytherin. <laughs> and now that we've got that on, we're gonna go in with our actual highlight. So I'm gonna take the summer highlight from the Sundip palette and right where you see the most glow, which is gonna be right here. You can see it and you can see it in pictures. It is it. This is the hot spot right here, right here. And if you're wondering if this looks stupid in person, no. It doesn't. Of course, the brow bone. We don't play with the brow bone. When it comes to the brow bone, we are serious. So serious. And the least of our product is gonna go right on our nose. So, now that we've got our second layer of highlight, you think I'm playing, you think the glow is a game? It's not a game. I'm gonna take the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I'm like almost on E right now. I've got like this much product left. And once it's gone, I'm gonna be very sad because it's pricey. $5, $6, $4. Now that you've got your face off sprayed, the final step is to take your most intense highlight. I really, really want to try out this new Fenty highlight. It's like the epitome of gloss and sauce. Too much sauce. I'm going to take this right where 
my highlight is gonna hit. You see that? Do you see that? Right where it's gonna hit. I put a little bit of highlight right there because when you take pictures, that is going to be a beautiful highlight. And then of course we're gonna do a little inner corner highlight. I'm gonna take the summer shade first and then the Fenty How Many Carrots right on top. And you can do that all with one highlight if it's able to be nice and diffused and then just a little bit packed on and then right there just, mm. You can do it all with one. You don't have to have four or five, six, seven, eight different highlights. Moving on to lips, this is gonna be very, very simple. I'm gonna use my NYX Sandstorm Lip Liner. I didn't even have to put anything in the center of my lips and they look like they're all filled in. I am a sucker for a glossy lip. You guys should know this. Glitter, glossy lips. I just realized I'm supposed to be leaving for work right now. I have to change into my full uniform and take these out and look decent, normal as I can. I absolutely love glossy lips and glitter gloss is even better. Oh, so there's a couple that I wanna talk about today. Number one, if you're looking for an affordable glossy lip that has some glitter to it, the Forever 21 Lip Gloss in Natural, like in the little squeezy tube, I think it's $2 or less, like $1.90. Bomb, 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 bomb. If I wasn't out of it, I would pull it out right now and show you guys. These two are two that came in the Anastasia Holiday PR set. I believe these are going to be in a set of minis. It came with four. Four. And these are just the two I like the most, so I'm probably going to use one of these. But hello, Fenty Diamond Milk. I know, I know you guys know about this. I really like lip gloss sounds. I've been using this one a lot, but it depends on whether you're into golden glitters or more silvery type of glitters. Usually I go towards the gold glitters, but this one is bomb. I'm going to hit a little first impression because I haven't even tried these yet. And uh, uh. by the way, let me give you these shade names like Beauty Guru Who. This is Diamond Lip Gloss, and this is the lip gloss in Citrine. And let's just see what this one's about. Oh yeah. Have you ever seen a picture of a glitter gloss on a website or on an Instagram page and then you try it and it's like, all right, it's cool, but it's not what I expected. This is everything I could hope for in a glitter gloss. I am going to go ahead and do my eyelashes and things like that off camera really quick. AKA I'm gonna go to my job and work for hours and then take my lunch and come back and pretend like nothing happened and pretend like it's the same time of day. We gotta go, we gotta go. Oh. All right, you guys, I'm back from my job. Shh, let's pretend like I was filming this whole time. Okay, that's the video. All right, you guys, so that's it for this look. I just threw some lashes on, but what are we thinking about the glow? Like I said, everything's nice and set, so you're not oily. You just have that really, really glowing look while still being nice and set, and your makeup's not gonna go anywhere. But you guys, let me know down below what your favorite glow products are, whether it be a liquid highlighter, a highlighter, a dewy foundation. Like, let me know what you guys like. What are your steps to get that glowing, glowing skin? So I really hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.